Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I'm so excited to demonstrate for you how to do a short sculptured acrylic nail. And I will be finishing the nail with Fancy Pants Nail Lacquer and Dazzle Rocks Loose Diamonds in Small applied with the big brush. And what I love about putting regular nail lacquer over the top of acrylic is it stays on for the entire two weeks or when the client comes back, it doesn't chip and it lasts the whole time. And it looks beautiful. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands. Etch the nail with the 100 grit purple terminator etcher. Go with the way the nail grows. This eliminates 75% of lifting. Make sure there's no shiny spots on the nail. If there's any shiny spots, you could have lifting because the product can't adhere to any shiny spots. Now when you're done, this is disposable. Just peel it off. So you have a brand new one for every client. Then use your tritium stone to make sure you push back the cuticle and there's no skin that's grown up on the nail. If there's any skin grown up on the nail, you're going to have lifting. And dust off the nail with a plastic manicure brush. Apply your first coat of primer. And I always keep my primer in a primer holder and then use a little wipe it. So I can wipe off my brush. You just want to use a little bit of primer. First coat of primer dries out the oils in the nail and kills the germs on the nail. I will be using the Custom Original Gold Double Thick Nail Form. This is smaller than the competitive edge, which I like when I'm doing the short nails. Roll your form. Put the curve under the free edge. Stick down your sides. And stick together the tip here. Get it nice and secured. I will be applying my second coat of primer so the primer is wet when I apply my acrylic. This promotes adhesion. I will be using the original pink. Now when you're doing a shorter nail the main thing you want to remember is you're going to use less liquid and less powder, but you're going to be using the same exact procedure. You're going to dip your entire brush into the liquid so the whole brush is wet. Dip it all the way in, and then you're going to wipe away from you, and you're going to wipe off more liquid so your brush has less liquid in it. And when you drag in your powder, you're going to pick up a small to medium ball. This is for the free edge area. Place this ball onto the free edge area. Let it flow. One, two, three. Then you're going to pat it out. Bring it all the way over to the side. All the way over to the side. Bring up the side. Straight out from the nail groove. Straight out from the nail groove. Even out your tip. Get it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away from you. Make sure you have less liquid. Pick up a small ball. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. One, two, three. Stroke it out side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away from you. Drag towards you again, very small ball. Let it flow. One, two, three. I place that about 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle area. Side, side, center. Stroking it out. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. This is your stress ball. Wipe away your brush. Make sure you don't have too much liquid. Pick up a small ball. Place this ball almost at the cuticle area. Give it a little pressure to release liquid. And then stroke it out side, side, center. Now 
and squeeze the C curve. Start down on the nail bed, work your way out. Just make sure the nail's nice and strong and taper it just a little bit, make it appear a little bit more narrow. Now I'm going to file the nails in five steps with my long lasting 180 zebra. Step one, straight out from the nail groove on the left. Step two, straight out from the nail groove on the right. Step three, shape the free edge. If you want a square, you'll hold your file straight up and down. And if you want a square oval, slightly angle your file. And I'm going to be doing a square oval. I think the square oval is one of the prettiest shapes for short nails. Okay, we have our square oval. Step number four, top of the nail. Go down on the side, cross the top. Down on the other side, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. You're going to have a little road around that cuticle area. It's acrylic, natural nail cuticle. Make sure you get right in that little road. Get the nail really smooth. Bevel down, cross the top, down on the other side. And turn the nail around from the client's angle. This is your fifth step in filing. And bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle where you're looking at your client's nail the same way she's going to be looking at her nail for the next two weeks. Now I'm going to apply peach all natural conditioning cuticle oil. And then buff the nail with the clean finish buffing file. This makes the nail really smooth. Get all get around that cuticle, make sure it's nice and smooth. Now what I like to do is I like to just go around the edges a little bit with the buffer so there's no sharp edges. Then have the client go wash their hands with antibacterial soft soak and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply fancy pants and nail lacquer. And you don't need to use a base coat when you're applying the nail lacquer over the top of acrylic. Always use nice long strokes. Up the tip. Let that dry for about 30 seconds to a minute. Apply your second coat of fancy pants. Nice long strokes. Always apply your polish in nice long strokes. Let your polish dry for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then apply a little bit of loose diamonds with your big brush just to the tip just to give it just a little bit of bling. Really cute and really easy. Now I'm going to apply Z Coat, a non-yellowing super shiny top coat. Now we have a super cute short acrylic with a little bling. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.